Hello everyone, my name is Anderson, and welcome back to the first part of the lesson for、um, Past Perfect Simple. This part of the video will only cover the basics of the Past Perfect Simple, and the next video will cover the practices and quizzes. Okay, now let's begin. Past Perfect Simple. Past perfect simple is in a difficult area to learn when you guys studying about time. But if you follow me, you do, you do not have to worry about it. Today,、um, we are going to study about past perfect simple. But first, let's review the simple past tense. So, what is the past simple tense? The past simple tense refers to the completed events or actions,、uh, which is not happening right now. So that's why I wrote "not happening right now" on the top. Yes.、Um, see the completed events or actions, etc. So let's have a look at the example. Jay arrived late to the meeting room. Jay. Arrived late to the meeting room. Jay arrived late to the meeting room. Jay arrived at some time before the present. Jay is not coming right now. He already came. Jay arrived at some point before the present. The time that Jay arrives to the meeting room is not happening right now. This verb, arrived, tells you this tense is the past simple right now. We also use an expression that shows time, like yesterday, last week, a year ago, three days before. So the past simple is really easy to remember. Just like. It refers to an event which has already been finished. Now, what about past perfect simple? We use past perfect simple for referring to something finished before or further back in the past simple. So it's still we are in the past, but we want to talk about some, some something. Before or further back in the past simple, so we're going to go deep down the past simple tense. And why do we use the past perfect simple?、Um, it is not just the event came before after. We use、um, past the perfect simple to make the order of events clear. So when It happened first, and it should be two, not three or four. It has to be two. So we used past perfect simple to make the order of events really clear. That's why it also means the series of event must be connected in the right order. We don't really use a、uh, past perfect in the real conversation, but like、uh, when we want to um um specify. Specify um the order of events, we need to use the past perfect simple. So、uh, let's make an example. So、um, let's make an example about past perfect. Okay. So yesterday's meeting、uh, was at nine a.m. And the yesterday's meeting finished at ten a.m. So let's put this event. In the past perfect 
in this timeline. Okay, then what happened next? Suddenly, Jay arrived late to the meeting room at half past 10, 10.30 a.m. yesterday. So we can find this sentence in the case the past tense because we already know according to this verb we know that it's a verb also yesterday it is not today the day before yesterday okay so uh but when we want to talk about these um two events in a correct order what should we do first we should figure out what happened first so um so yesterday's meeting so yes so yesterday's meeting finished at 10 a.m and after that after a few minutes later jay arrived to the meeting room at 10 a.m. So what happened first? We put we put 10 a.m. event in the past perfect. Why? Because it happened before. So and then we put J arrived late to the meeting room at half past 10 into the past simple. Why? So meeting had finished before Jay arrived. It happened first and then Jay arrived. That's why we put this event into past perfect, which is more past. And then we should use past. So then how can we make these two sentences? How can we make these two events connected in a right order? So we need to make it like this. Before when Jay arrived, the meeting yesterday had to finish. So now we know uh, which event uh, happened first. So we already know it happened yesterday. Like the meeting had finished first and then Jay arrived, which is the same. It's a shame, yeah. So, so I want to read it one more time. But before when Jay arrived, the meeting yesterday had finished. So this, the meeting finished first and then a few minutes later, Jay arrived. That's why we used past, a bit past, and then the meeting finished as a more past, the past perfect simple. So there's some rule for the past perfect sense. Uh, there's some rule for the past perfect simple. Um, we need to add had and change the form of the verb into the past participle. This had plus past participle Describes the past perfect simple tense. Overall, is it is called had pp. We add um had um before the past participle and change the verb form into the past participle. So, um. So what is the past participle, everyone? So um I have I have mentioned this uh, on a. On an irregular, regular video, but uh, let me explain it one more time. So we have three common forms. We have irregular, we have regular, but three for forms. One, infinitives. We also call this base form. And then, past simple. 
and then the past participle, which we use on the past perfect simple tense. Okay, so what about finish here? Then finish is a base form. Finished is a past simple. Past participle is also finished. Now let's move on to the another example. Uh, we have two events. Angela was eating at a subway station. Angela realized she forgot to bring her favorite coat in a train. Uh, and we need to connect these two sentences into one. Then we need to use the past perfect sentence. Why? Because uh, we know the we know we know that we know the fact that these two sentences both indicate past, and we need to separate it in the right order. Then we need to use past perfect past perfect sentence again. Before we need to ask this question, what should we what should we ask to ourselves? We need to ask what should come first okay so angela forgot to bring her favorite coat in a train like this she just forgot oh i don't know but like oh, she 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 left her favorite coat and then a few minutes later she realized, oh, I forgot to bring my favorite coat in a train, like this. So, the event when Angela um, forgot to bring her coat should be the first event, wouldn't it? So, she forgot to bring her favorite coat in a train first. And then, while she was eating at the subway station, she realized she forgot to bring her favorite coat back in a train. So, this, this event happened first, and then the, realiz the realization happened. Then, we should... Put this sentence in a past perfect and this sentence in a past simple. And then we need to change this verb form into had pp, right? Let's see the answer then. Angela was, when Angela was eating at a subway station, she realized that she had forgotten to bring her favorite coat in a train. See, there's, don't forget the rules, everyone. Don't forget the rules. We need to add had, had, and change the verb into the past perfect. Okay? So in the next video, we are going to practice with the fundamentals that we have just learned in this video. So go back to the website and go to the next part of the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye everyone. Thank you very much.